Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4 Road to 56 mod here today on the channel. We're going to be playing as Sweden. We're going to be going with a Monarchist playthrough here today, playing as Gustav. And we're going to try and form a Scandinavian faction, bringing in Norway, Denmark, potentially Finland, and Iceland. Alright, well, let's get stuck into it. 1936, we're going to go with a historical focus is on. So, who knows what the other factions are going to do. We're going to basically try and form our own and go independent. So, man, the Swedish tech tree is actually really quite cool. In Road 56, I'd recommend a playthrough. So, we need to go authoritarian and non-aligned. Um, there's a fair few ways you can go with um, Sweden. We can even form like the Kelmar Union. I think I'd rather go with a faction because it's a little bit harder to do that. Because you do have to conquer them or risk the RNG of bringing them in. I just think we'll just create a northern faction. And I, I don't know, I feel like I want to go with a monarchist run. Something a little bit different. I tend to play with um, Axis or communist faction, faction. So let's kind of just do our own. Haven't got the most amount of factories, military or civilian. So we're going to, need to build things up. We do have an abundance of steel as Sweden, which is quite good. We've got a, a huge amount of natural resources, but we will struggle with like rubber and a couple of others. So let's get the production queued on up, and then we'll try and bring the other nations in. We've got a pretty decent standing army, nothing too crazy. 14 divisions. Mostly made with small arms. Okay, so... We want to... Basically... Dwindle the democratic sphere of influence. And then go with... Uh, monarchy. Okay. So there's a civil war... In Latvia going on now. Okay. So they're probably going to join the common turn. Or we can maybe even back them... Uh, nice. Gustav is now in charge. And we might be able to negotiate with some other the uh, nations. So, where is everyone sort of going? The UK is going democratic. There's a civil war in Mexico. Interesting. Yeah, so we might actually better bring in some of these non-aligned regimes. We'll just have to see. What's Poland doing? Because sometimes they go on a line, no. Yeah, I'm curious to see what European nations we can potentially bring into our own faction. Just investing in construction and industry at the moment. Okay, so... Denmark has signed. And we want to go with the Northern Lights faction. Yeah, I'm curious to see if we can pull this off. Oh, wow. Venezuela, the civil war, okay. Well, we'll wait for this to go through, and then hopefully we can spread monarchy throughout Europe again. A royal coup in Denmark, perfect. All right, so we've made a faction with Denmark and Norway. We've united Scandinavia. In the Northern Lights faction. Alright, there's a civil war in Russia. Oh, perfect. Oh, no. They might lose. <laughs> oh, wait. Maybe not. So. Okay. So, it's a provisional Russian government. I thought maybe if um, one of the Romanovs took charge. Oh, the RNG is really bad. They spawned in Siberia. When civil wars happen, there's obviously a chance where they can spawn in like better parts of the map. In the south is a bit better, but up in the Siberia is not good. Oh my god, they're really ripping them apart. The Tatars in Crimea have become independent. Uh, some of the Georgian uh, Armenian Caucasus territory as well. Okay. So they're being ripped apart. Okay, we're going to make plans and preparations to get on in, in on this. They've lost 200k. It's still pretty early, but if... If they're fighting in Siberia in the Far East, they might not have many units on that border. 
there are so many states going against them as well. So we'll justify now. And we'll launch the attack from Estonia. Uh, Latvia has gone Soviet, so we're going to have to fight them eventually. But the justification is complete, and we're going to head on over with our divisions. We're mostly going to have to rely on our allied forces. If we can snatch Leningrad and Moscow quite quickly, um, that would be quite fortunate. So they do have some units on the border, but not too many. Most are in the far east. All right, let's just go, 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 go. If we could somehow convince the provisional government to bring in a Morobinov, that would be really good for this. All right, Moscow's fallen. We're holding. As we're gobbling up a bunch of territory. Yeah, the Soviet Union's just falling apart. They're about to capitulate. Not too much longer now. Like, look how many republics have just, like, broken off. Okay, so... The war is now ended. And we're gonna have to go to war with the provincial government. Damn it. Poland joins the Allies. Well, well... Russia's been ripped apart, mostly. But no, the monarchists didn't go in. The fall of Warsaw, okay. Germany's attacking Poland. Alright. Germany's at war with the Allies. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. We'll make a non-aggression pact with the Germans. We're doing our own thing. So, I guess we're probably more closer to the Axis as we, as we have a land border with them. But I'm curious to see who's going to win this one. We've got the Baltic States. Finland's not under our control. They pushed over the Maginot line, though. Looks like the Germans are going to win. Okay. Hey, Russia flipped to a czar. The flag's changed. Let's have a look at that. Ah, uh, they brought in a Romanov. Perfect. Oh, so the provisional governor brought him in. Oh, that's good. So we don't have to, like, fight them then. Because there's always a chance that that can't happen. And now we've brought them into the faction. Perfect. Oh, God. They're currently fighting with the communists again. All right. We couldn't bring in Finland by normal means. So we're just going to have to conquer them. And we can attack from St. Petersburg. We might even go after Karelia as well. Got to be careful though. The monarchists have lost a lot of Russian territory. Alright, they're about to capitulate soon. Pushing them from two sides. They're not looking good. Alright, this war in Finland's going a bit longer than what I expected. But it should be okay. All right, they've capitulated. Perfect. And we're going to control the north while they control the south. Wow. Here's the world. The Axis and allies are kind of throwing. The Yugoslavia meat grinder is well underway. Oh, Mexico are fighting the allies there. Hey, <laughs> that's a GG. The US just joined the allies in 1942. All right. It looks like they're about to do... You know what? Oh, that's uh, annoying. Because we have to be in on this because they are monarchist. And they've made a faction, the little Entente. Um, okay. Well, we're going to focus on that then. They're holding. Uh-oh. <laughs> They're really struggling to push in. Let's upgrade that. I just think they're just too weak from the Soviet Union days. Oh no, Germany's focusing on them. Oh, we might be okay then. They might be able to pr uh, pressure them from the west. Okay, okay. Oh, they fall. They fell. Oh, it was mostly because um, Czechoslovakia was the main player in it, so we brought them in. Okay. Wow, Russia has extended its borders massively. <laughs> so at the moment, it's mostly between the monarchists, which we haven't picked aside, the allies and the axis. This is crazy. Eight million either side. Germans have lost two mil. 
We're we're in a bit of a tough situation just because we've got no manpower. Oh, great. Well, now we're in. This has been a really tough campaign. We're focusing on the Axis now. Just because they war decked us. So we're back in the Allies now. I guess we switch. Yeah, I've struggled. I just think it's because we have the factories. We just don't have the territory. Like, I haven't been able to grow more than, like... Like, we haven't been able to get, like, above 50 divisions, which is really, really tough. Okay. The monarchists and the allies are really carving up Germany now. Yeah, now that the Americans are in after 1940s, it's GG's. Oh, they're landing in Belgium now. Oh, my God. All right, we're about to march into Berlin. All that remains is Italy after it flipped over to the British. Oh, and now they've capitulated. Let's divide up the world. Between the monarchists and the allied forces. Alright, so he's actually <laughs> hiding out there <laughs> in the uh, Rhineland, which is interesting. We managed to get and uh, seize Konigsberg, which I think is quite cool. Bring in a monarchist regime. But uh, that's pretty much it. That was a tough one. Um... In hindsight, probably should have formed the Kalmar Union. I thought Sweden would be a little bit stronger in Road to 56. I felt like we had a successful campaign. I just feel like it probably could have been stronger. We really just had to rely on our allies. But in 1943... Oh my god. Even Australia got partitioned a little bit there. <laughs> That's so weird. But the Axis kind of threw in Yugoslavia. And there's just a lot of fighting down in the Balkans and... Greece by the look of it. We've bought back Bavaria, which is kind of cool. And I guess the... The thing is, the Allies had most of the war score, even though they attacked us in the end. Interesting run. I did want to try a Monarchist playthrough with one of the Scandinavian factions. I didn't really want to, like, form the Kalmar Union. That can be a little bit overpowered. It's actually really better doing that as Finland, so maybe we should do it for that. But, um, yeah. South America sort of did their own thing. But the Allies held firm, which doesn't quite often happen. France, the UK, and the States and Canada all united together and threw them back. All right. Well, unfortunately, going to wrap things up here. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for more content on the channel. We've got heaps of content coming out in 2023. So make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. That was an interesting run. My name is Ben Simsey. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.